And now we shift focus to our feature for the show today. The resumption of forex sales to Baruja's change operators by the Central Bank of Nigeria has surfaced, strengthened the exchange rate of the Naira to the dollar. And that's according to local operators. In a circular, the CBN announced plans to resume forex sale, which it already did yesterday as part of efforts to enhance accessibility to foreign exchange. Now, the president of the Association of Bureau de Change Operators of Nigeria, Aminu Guadabe, says the anticipated intervention, which is already in effect, will ensure stability in the foreign exchange market. He further says that speculators in the forex market have been dealt a huge blow with a sharp drop in the exchange rate, which he says would continue a downward trend with the resumption of international flights in and out of the country. Well, join me, joining me now live in our Lego studio, I have financial analyst Harden Udon. Good to have you on The Breakfast Show today. Good to be here, David. Thank now, you. Now, commercial flights have already commenced, and just yesterday, too, the CBN resumed sale of Forex to Bureau de Change operators. How timely is this move? And also, let's assess the plan for liquidity injection. Yeah, well, I, I think it's, it's planned. It's, um it's um, a step in the right direction. Not only that, um, I think the timing is right because as um, economic um, um, activity commences, we're expecting to go back to what was normal. Um, so um, opening the INE window, opening sales, reopening sales to BDCs and all that, I think it's a right st step in the right direction. Mm. Let's also talk about sustained efforts now. At this point in time, the volume of dollars traded in the investors and exporters window in the market, according to the most recent result, uh, report we've had to have fell by as much as 10 percent. That's to hit about $843 million just last month, mm -hmm. away from the 937 recorded in July. Do you think we'll still see a downward trend or we'll see some level of rebalancing as the market is now opened once again? Well, uh, I, I feel that I see that um, there's going to be a lot of um, rebalance and it's, it's going to go upwards a bit because um, we're dealing with a backlog. Um, I hear that we gather that the figures with the CBN, they're dealing with about five to seven billion um, backlog in um, transactions. And mm. so over time, we actually see this figure appreciating. Mm. Yes. And what about the pool that we've seen from the Naira at this point in time, sustaining the efforts from the Central Bank of Nigeria as well? Yeah, like, the CBN is playing the right hand of being, <laughs> it, it's they're actually bringing out the stick. It's mm. either the BD, borrow the changes comply or they get sanctioned. It's either the banks comply or they get sanctioned. Don't forget, they're dealing with quite a lot of things. We're, we're recovering as an economy due to the COVID-19 um, impact. Yeah, that's on the one hand. And then two, we're dealing with all slumps on the other hand. Mm. You know, so it's, it's a time, a period of adjustment for us as a country. Mm. Yeah. It, now, talking about sustaining uh, sanitized operations within the forex market at this point in time, what do you make of the CBN's move and also the infrastructural plans that broad de change operators now have in place in silencing speculators? We keep on going back and harping on speculators. Mm. Um, it, it's a dicey one, and the balance is... Um the divide is not really clear because, um, David, don't forget, um, the BDCs themselves engage in speculation. Exactly. That's the truth of the matter. And so, um, um, speaking, of, speaking to, to sustainability, uh, I think the work has been cut out for the CBN to keep on using not just the moral suasion that they have been using, but also to introduce sanctions into the whole thing. Um, as recent as um, two business days ago, we hear that quite a number of BDCs accounts have been frozen in banks because of non-compliance. If the CBN continues to toll this hardline, we will see that there's a bit of, of, of mm. sustainability. But should they relax their oars, um, the Naira will come under speculative attack again. Okay. Now, looking at sustainability now, at this point in time now, the issue of liquidity injection on a weekly basis has been the bane of so many conversations. And as businesses are resuming, the concern remains that uh, we cannot continue to sustain this trend. It has been the norm over the years, but it's not necessarily sustainable. So what should be the model to be adopted at this point in time, especially looking at a stronger recovery pattern for the economy? Yeah. Um, okay, so let's take a step back. Let's take some step backs. Um, a decade ago, two decades ago, we'll find out that 
the business economy of Nigeria was, um, was multifaceted. It wasn't just um, focused on one production or one product, which is crude oil. So back in the days, we, our agric sector was buoyant, we had our airlines, we had our shipping lines. So there was a plethora of um, business activities that fetched us foreign currency and change. Now, not until we get back to that point, not until we introduce the product lines, um, we will still see ourselves struggle. Mm. We will still see the CBN trying to defend uh, the Naira with all their might. But don't forget, this is book activity. Let's go back to Main Street. Let's support the entrepreneurs. Let's bring back the industries. And um, you'll see that the buoyancy of the Naira will be in free float and it will be going upwards on its own. Mm. Hopefully all of these interventions are taken much more critically and for the fact that we have issues of fuel uh, subsidy removal, we have to look at where we are injecting our investments much mm -hmm. more uh, critically. We just have too many issues at this point in time sure. and if nothing is done properly, the Naira and the economy will definitely plunge. Sure. Thank you very much for your contribution on The Breakfast Show today, Hardin Udo. You're welcome.